questions for uh, Admiral Harris. Sir. Uh, Admiral, uh, all of us on this committee have uh, faced questions from our constituents about the degree of U.S. involvement in Ukraine. Uh, some of the individuals point out our own depleting stockpiles and the nearly 20 billion backlog in arms sales to Taiwan. Uh, many conclude that we just don't have the president capacity to maintain the level of assistance to Ukraine uh, that we currently are seeing while remaining ready and able to deter uh, the Chinese threat. In your view, is this a binary choice between helping Ukraine now and preparing for uh, Taiwan for a looming conflict with China later, or do you think we can uh, adequately address both at the same time? Thanks, Congressman. My relatives in Tennessee, where I grew up, have asked me that same question. Uh, I, I believe that we can do both. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. We are hamstrung by what we can do uh, with Taiwan with, by policy, not by law, uh, not, not by the Constitution, but by policy, and, and I think we can and should do more with them. Uh, that said, uh, Ukraine uh, is the wolf closest to the sled, and we have to deal with Ukraine today. Uh, I believe that uh, we, are, we are doing a lot with Ukraine, but I think there's more juice in that orange, if you will. Uh, you know, we've, we've given them um, uh, stingers and, and javelins and high Mars and helicopters, and soon we're going to give them uh, vampire uh, anti-drone systems, uh, Patriots and Abrams tanks, uh, and that's what they need. Uh, we. Uh, if we don't uh, help Ukraine fight Russia today, then are we going to be asked to help Moldova when Russia attacks Moldova or Kazakhstan or Turkmenistan or any of the other uh, countries that are on the periphery of the former Soviet Union? The Baltics too, but that's a different uh, nut to crack because the Baltics are part of NATO now. Uh, so I, I do believe that, that we need to do as much as we can for Ukraine and we have the capacity to help Taiwan at the same time. So it's not binary, uh, but we have to overcome policy on the, on the Taiwan front uh, and, and not so much on the Ukraine front. Okay, understand that. Uh, what role uh, does Congress have in helping alleviate these concerns? Are there certain initiatives that you would like to see us undertake to support the industrial base and the warfighter and to help get us out of the hole that we're in right now? Sure. Uh, I, I think the, the, the biggest thing is to pass a budget. Uh, I mean, the, the lack of a, of a budget uh, hamstring, uh, ha hamstrings industry uh, and prohibits uh, the department from doing adequate long-range planning. That's one thing. Uh, on the, uh, we talked before about export controls with regard to Australia. If we don't get the export controls right, then, then it doesn't matter how much good intent there is and getting them a nuclear submarine capability. The export controls will bite us right in the, in the well, I, I won't say where it's going to bite us, but it's going to bite us right there if we, if we don't get that right. Uh, with regard to Taiwan, uh, I, I've, I've mentioned some of the things already. A free trade agreement helps Taiwan um, in an in a economic sense probably more than it helps us. But what it does do, it, it creates this, this uh, sense uh, that, that we're willing to engage in a free trade agreement with Taiwan, uh, and uh, other countries might also be encouraged to pile onto that, uh, which helps them in a, in a big way. Okay, I want to try to get in one other question because you brought up the other countries that are threatened by Russia, and you know it ties into Taiwan as well. Uh, just kind of wanted to get your opinion on your thoughts on the deterrence strategy that was adopted by the current administration uh, in the lead up to the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson was here last week and, and he reminded us of a, one of the biggest uh, reasons not to let Ukraine join NATO was that Putin might invade Ukraine. And we saw how that worked out. So um, if, if we're going to keep these type of things are happening in the future, Taiwan, uh, you know, what happened to Ukraine, what could happen to other countries if we don't stand strong right now. Uh, what's your opinion on how we can do better next time? So uh, I've talked about it in, in other venues. I think this issue of strategic uh, clarity versus strategic ambiguity is critical. And we have been well served, I'll be first to say that, by the, by the uh, policy of strategic ambiguity with Taiwan over the past 44 years. But I think the time for ambiguity is over. Uh, I think we have to be as clear about our, uh, our intent with regard to what would happen if the PRC invades Taiwan as 
the PRC is clear in its intent that it's ultimately going to seize Taiwan if need be. Gentleman's time's expired. Chair, not recognize.